Welcome back to Dielectric Videos. On today's episode, I'm going to be doing some diagnostic and repair work on my Dell XPS 13 laptop. So this laptop is uh, pretty much, it's been absolutely fantastic. I've had this for the past four years, uh, actually a little over that since 2015. And it's been really awesome. I upgraded the hard drive to a 512 gigabyte SSD. I uh, have basically been using this off and on for the past four years, four and a half years, and it's been really great. Now I replaced the battery about two years ago uh, since the original one was getting down to like a 70% uh, state of health so I wanted to upgrade it uh, and I put in an aftermarket kind of no-name Amazon battery. And the battery's been fantastic. I've had two years of good service out of it. It uh, has been aging normally. I uh, haven't had any reliability problems or like premature shut off or anything like that. What I have started to notice is that the trackpad and basically the whole front of the laptop has popped up by about a millimeter and a half. So this is kind of a big issue because the trackpad is really mushy on one side and the right click barely works at all on the other side. And I'm fairly confident that this is due to the battery expanding basically from being a low, uh, low performance kind of cheaper battery pack that at the same time uh, has pretty, pretty well been used, uh, used through its useful life. I mean, you wouldn't expect much more than a couple years out of a good laptop battery uh, within say the 70% state of health range. So what I want to do today is take the case back off of it. I have a replacement battery that I can put in and I'm just going to be putting another replacement in uh, and basically taking this one out for recycling. So let's get inside and see what the battery looks like. So I'm going to start by removing some of the screws on the case back. One of these little like uh, pads is basically peeled off and the adhesive has kind of collected a bunch of grime. So might do something about that, but hasn't been a huge priority since the other otherwise the machine has been working fairly well. So I'm basically going to go around and take out all these screws. If you're wondering about the size, this is a Torx uh, 5 by one and a half, T5 by one and a half. So this is, I believe, a T5 Torx head screw. And there are several of them, including one under this uh, little uh, door, which is actually a Phillips, a small Phillips screw. So that'll be taken out separately. But once you've taken out all the Torx screws, we, uh, the, getting into the laptop is fairly trivial. So now that all the screws are out, let's have a look inside this computer. So I believe it should just slide right off the top. And as I suspected, there is definitely a lot of puffing going on in this battery. It looks like it's kind of contained to just one cell or maybe two cells. I believe, so this is a 7.2 volt battery. So this is basically a 2S battery. So I think it has two large cells and two smaller cells, basically, I believe two are in parallel, and then those are in series with the other two, which I think are in parallel. And I don't know what's gone on here, but it looks like these two in the middle are considerably more puffed than the outer ones, particularly this one here. So we're just gonna pull this entire battery out and replace it with a brand new one. I'll start off by unscrewing the retention screws. This can be done with a small Phillips screwdriver. I believe that's all the screws. Oh, there's one over here. So here's the new battery. You can see this one is considerably less puffed looking than the other one. By comparison, this one was pretty bad. This one looks very new. This is another off-brand battery. Uh, usually, you know, it's not always recommended to buy off-brand batteries. If you ask a Dell representative, they're gonna tell you only buy Dell, uh, officially uh, sanctioned Dell batteries, but I've had pretty good success. I mean, obviously this one has been in service for a really long time and it still performs really well, even though it's puffed. So this battery here, I'm hoping uh, will provide similar longevity. This is also a 56 watt hour battery, whereas the original was a 52 watt hour. So I'm also hoping to get a little bit of extended uh, battery life as well out of this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and basically uh, line this up, making sure the cable 
goes underneath the small speaker connector here and I will connect the battery to the motherboard before placing it or seating it in place. Try to make sure the connector goes in square because you don't want to have any pins get crossed and uh, create a short or a potential uh, voltage issue that could damage the laptop because that would be rather unfortunate. So you can press fit it like that. Now I can get the rest of the battery in place. So look towards the holes to try to get those lined up. And it should basically just, once it's in place, kind of snap down and make sure it's fitting snugly. It looks like it's a little off here. Now that's in place and that's in place. So now the battery's in place and it should be in good shape to continue. So from here, I will uh, get my small Phillips screwdriver and start reinstalling the screws for the battery. If I can get them in the right place. So here's one. So there's the battery back in place in the computer. Now before I uh, put this completely back together, I am going to power it up and verify that this battery is connected properly and works. Now it's been in storage for a little while, I actually got this battery about six months ago, planning on replacing the original. Uh, so this is going to be potentially quite low in state of charge, but we'll see if it boots up and uh, if it basically reads a good state of charge. So looks like it's at 29%, so that's about the storage charge you would expect. So that's a good, uh, good indication. The battery's working, and it seems like it's connected properly to the computer. So I'll go ahead and uh, put it back in hibernate. And once that finishes shutting down, I will uh, go put the back cover back on, and this will complete the project. All right, so the new battery has been installed in the laptop. I can turn it back on now, and I can show you that the trackpad now clicks very nicely and decisively, unlike before. So there it is, uh, easy replacement. Took a, uh, an existing battery with a major puffing problem and replaced it with a brand new one, which should hopefully give me better capacity and potentially a longer service life than this one did. So hopefully you found that informative. Uh, I've got some really cool content coming up in future videos, so stay tuned uh, within the next few weeks for those to be published. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.